Yeah. All right, guys. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? I'm going to get right into the subject matter of the video because, uh, man, I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure it out. It could be inner spiritual attack. Uh, cause, cause I've dealt with stuff like this in my walk as a Christian. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that Shani has her own stories of this type of stuff. But it seems like, for me, that I go on these live streams and, uh, a lot of times, either during the night of after I've been on or around that general vicinity of time before or after a live stream, I've had spiritual attack in my dreams. Hello to... Hi, uh, Michelle Ann. So... Very freaky shit. But this is going to... It's it's in the realm of spiritual warfare. But uh, I'm going to describe this situation as something that's pretty temporal. It's, 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 it's the actions of an individual that they're, you know, just talking to me as they would, I guess. But I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, man, the vibes were off. Uh, you got to ask yourself what type of person that you're on, you're on video call. You're on video video call with a person. They know that your wife is right next to you. And she makes a comment about her breasts and says that they were kind of too big or something. And she sweat underneath them and stuff like this. And she was like pushing her tits and stuff like that. And, and then she... She gets on her like sort of lay down position in her in her bed, and she she uh, pulls her uh, shorts down and shows me her ass. Shanny's right here with me. All right. So the whole deal was with her, her tattoos. It was like, uh, the, hi, Stacy Lockwood. It makes absolutely no sense. I didn't mention tattoos at all. Uh, I don't know what the hell, why she thought I'd be interested in that. Uh, but she had a rose on her ass and I'm like, okay, well, I, I'm, I was really puzzled at that point. Who, who did this when? Oh boy. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's just say it's an Instagram, uh, person from uh, a foreign country and she seemed kind and she says she's Christian. It's, I'm just done. Okay. Hey, unfuck with the little girl. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. How disrespectful is Shani and you? Well, here's the thing. That's the deal right there, Michelle Ann. How, how can you know that Shani's right next to me here? 
and you're literally like talking about your breasts and then talking about your tattoos it, the but the okay what's really weird is about the, what was strange is that you could be talking about this stuff but then you come you come with the open hitting on wait she's right next to me the that kind of behavior i'm confused did chani expose herself no what this girl did some people do that to try and gain monetary gain after a while she would she would have but it if she knows you have a wife then she crossed the line you're not making much sense rev well i'm telling you what happened So I, we, she comes to me in DMs uh, because um, she wanted to talk or whatever uh, and see what's up. Like talk to, she's, she's been on and off like messaging us and talking to us and stuff. So I was like, I just gave, gave her a call quick and it was just weirdness. It was it, the it, the the conversation was normal that what was being talked about pretty much, but the the way she was presenting herself was completely weird. It was weird. Uh like you have to think to yourself: this is somebody that you you. You have not really had any kind of meaningful conversation with or nothing. Also, girl, you were chatting to expose them. So, oh my God, where is the dignity? <laughs> I definitely block her disrespect and yeah. That's pretty much the deal. That's that's where it goes. Yeah, I feel horrible for Shani too. It's ridiculous. It's totally random, and and what the hell? It does. It just. It was bizarre behavior. Bizarre behavior. And and it's something that just. Uh, it needed to be talked about in the sense that it's it's just un unorthodox. And and extremely like. It's just weird the the way that at all the way the conversation went and 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 uh, it was just very bizarre. Yeah, it was unsolicited. Yeah, totally. I uh, she just came out of nowhere. Um, I see. I saw she was in Shani's DMs for a while, but we didn't really talk to her, and she just came out of nowhere, started DMing and and stuff like this. So I'm just dumb. Yeah, was she friends with Shani too? Yeah, Shani didn't no, she know her. With she didn't me. know you. Shani didn't know her, but uh. It's the way this works is that people come out of nowhere, but, but it, I don't understand. I, it's just this person themselves. It's like, I, I don't understand your motivation. They just seem like they're kind of lonely and want to talk to people. You know, I think I understand the motivation. Yeah. At this point. That's really it. Do you did you want to say anything about this? It's crazy. I don't know. I just I just feel uncomfortable and 
disrespected. Yeah. Sorry you had to deal with it. Yeah, it's we just weird. Maybe that they were trying to start drama. That's always possible. Sure. Likely. <laughs> Knowing how people decide to communicate with me, probably. It's likely. It's gross to try to trigger someone like that. You know? Yeah, some seem obsessed with you. That's It's a problem, yeah. Stirring up trouble, probably. So, whatever. That's It's just, it had to be kind of talked about so that you guys are aware of the type of weirdness. <laughs> I'm sick of weirdness. Very, very bizarre. But she was an audience member of Draven, so there's that, too. I ain't trusting anyone. No. It ain't worth it. No. Yeah, they were trying to get Shanty worked up. Most likely, yeah. Well, it didn't work. No. It's weak sauce because it's dumb. It's just stupid. It's yeah, It ain't going to work because I, I'm just not into the bullshit. I like Shanty. I'm into Shanty. my girl it's dog shit the rest of it it's dumb I love her Ugh. so that's it high strangeness weird individuals and you know uh, people looking for people to talk to which is fine, but I'm going to tell you, man, you're better off. You're better off finding a support group locally around you to talk to people in groups and stuff like that, because this is the, the internet is so, it's just replete with mental illness. <laughs> That's it. And then people could start getting attached to you, and it's it, it turns into parasocial psychopathy, psychopathic behavior. I can't do it anymore. No, there's personalities out there that are very, very, very psychotic and toxic. Like, for example, uh, fucking Drader. You, you listen to that man's voice and he is absolutely clearly in a psychotic break. And uh, look, communication methods are very uh, uh, telling. You both need to get out and meet real people. I'm, I'm darty. I'm doing that. Who do I meet? Another asshole in the street? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> How about not tell me what to fucking do? People. Uh. People need to chill out with advice on certain things, I'm going to tell you this right now, that, that it's true. You get out and you meet real people and it's a hell of a lot better in this world. But, 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 but also understand that there are some people uh, 